Fiona. Welcome. Oh, I forgot to turn that thing off. It's asking me if I want stars. I haven't, <laughs> haven't used that before. Has anyone used the stars thing? I usually turn that off, but I forgot. Never mind. So, it's Wednesday Night Live. Woohoo! Yep, I can hear myself. Cool. Let me just straighten up my screen. I've just put my phone on so you can see what's on special this week. It's October. Let me just move my camera over a tiny bit. Now, what do we make tonight? I think we'll do a birthday card tonight. So, first of all, I got my five year anniversary pin, which I did a little live for the other day, in case you missed it. So that's pretty exciting. The end of August it was. I joined on the very last day of a special. <laughs> really late. <laughs> But it did it. And look at me. I'm still here five years later. So I think I'll add my five-year pin to my Stampin' Up! apron. And put it there. So that's really exciting. It's always fun doing this with people. And it's all by yourself. I sit here sometimes by myself creating. It's always good. So I've just put the pulled up the website on my phone. So this is, if you go to fionafernandez.stampinup.net and click shop now, it takes you to this page and this shows you all the things that are happening. So it scrolls across through these things at the top and if you don't want to wait for them you can scroll through. You see all the dots on the screen? So you can scroll through like this. Now there's World Card Making Day on Saturday. If you want to be involved in that you can just learn more and it'll take you to the page to register. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Will it? <laughs> Where did it go? Here it is. So all you need to do is register if you want to do it. It's free for anybody to join in but you do need to register and then you'll have access to the um, the recording later. See, registration dates to, uh, up until the 4th of October you can register so it's the second today you must register for the event in order to receive a link to view it also those who register will receive a gift after the event ends so even if you're gathering a group of people to craft together during the event you can invite them to register so they don't miss out on the event link and a special registration gift and it says video on demand they will record the event. Anyone who has the event link will be able to watch the recorded event uh, starting 8th of October. So even if you can't make it live on the day, and I'm not sure if I can yet, it's, it's someone's birthday. <laughs> so I may not be able to do it live on Saturday. But yeah, all the details are there and what to expect. And if you want to join in with what they're suggesting, it, well, it's too late to order them now. But if you've got other things, you can just use your other products or you can just watch it and enjoy it and if you read because you're registered you can always get the things and do it later so that's cool oh technique tuesday i just saw that on um instagram does it go to it or not i'm not sure if it does they just showed us that technique so i might try that tonight i'll show you after <laughs> We'll have a look at that. So that's the website and you can just click on the Stampin' Up! logo and it takes you back to the home page. So the other exciting thing, kits are on special up to 30% off. So have a look at those. Starter kit special, they've got a great joining offer at the moment. You get, what does it say? $286 worth of products, we're in Australia, for only $169 when you sign up between the 1st and the 31st. So that's a really good deal and the clearance rack and there's also other products that I can't show you here but the demonstrators get to see the on online exclusives or lots of products early so we get to see things a month early and order them early so if you want to be a part of that too you can add them to your starter kit and get those too you can put things on sale in your starter kit so you know the clearance rack came up last week so you can just tap on that and open that. So it's quite easy to use the website. 
Just make sure you log in and create an account. And of course, I'd love you to shop with me <laughs> if you're in the Fernandes. Just, you can just look for a demonstrator at the top or use my host code and it'll connect you to me. So that's the clearance rack. There's lots of goodies in there. Alrighty, let's make some cards. That's enough of the website and my little button. Let's put that on my apron. I'll put that on afterwards. You can't really see me anyway at the moment. <laughs> put it back up there on the shelf. Okay, I just got this out. I haven't used this yet. And I've got this out. And I thought we'd try that little trick. And I've got this one out too throughout the year and this has got lots of different sentiments on it so I might use happiest of birthdays so these are cling stamps so I haven't done this for a while but oh have I got it out already no happy holidays what do we need happiest of birthdays this one oh I have used it okay I don't remember what I used it on and in the grove I love the mountains and you know I've just been over to Canada and America and seen the beautiful mountains. They're just gorgeous. Let's see if we can find a photo for you. Hang on a second. And they're just amazing some of them. So I did a thing on using my photos last week at Lake Tahoe. I'll finish the other page. I'm getting a little bit more of the, um, what is it called? Lake I can't think of what it's called. The lake stuff. Stuff from Stampin' Up. <laughs> and I thought I'd finish that when I get those. Let me find my photos. Let me see if I can find you a photo of the mountains. Beautiful mountains. We went to... See, look at this. I see these mountains. Look. And this is Lake Tahoe. But there's beautiful ones in Yosemite as well. I thought they just really inspired me. Did someone see the trees are there? Hang on, let me get my phone around the right way. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So I could use the trees and I could use the mountains. Beautiful. Love it. I'll just leave that there in case I need it again. Now, I wanted to use this though and do what they did in the Technique Tuesday, <laughs> which was yesterday. I think we'll use which one will fit. That one. I wonder if no one no, doesn't. Does it fit on that one? No, not really. Maybe the bigger one. It's too big though, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think I'll go to this one. Is that too small? Maybe. Oh, hello, Diana. Welcome. Just going to do a little technique that I just saw on the Technique Tuesday thing, and I'm not sure if these are the right size for this. Maybe this one. I thought I'll use my new dies. These are called the Nested Essential dies. Just trying to work out which one. Oh, can't get it off the, the base thing. On. They're really stuck on. I was just showing everyone a photo before you popped in or oh, I don't know if you saw it or not this photo of Lake Tahoe because I like that with this and the little trees see isn't that cute love the look of that oh so beautiful right let's see if this one will work oh, maybe that'll work a bit too big though mightn't it <laughs> it's a bit big next to the mountains Birthdays, and I could put some trees up the side. I don't know. Well, before we stamp anything, let's try that little technique that I was talking about. So, if you look on their Instagram, on Stampin' Up's Instagram, that shows you their techniques. We'll just use our mini. Put my stamp away so I don't lose it. <laughs> Because I'm good at that. Yeah, I know, isn't it a gorgeous photo? It was just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Just trying to find a bit of cardboard to fit my die. I think they're all too small. Just chop one off. I just chop 
one of these off. Get my die. <laughs> See, I'll go that way. Actually, you know what? I might go the other way. Then I can cut a few. How much? How wide do we go like that? Ten. If I do ten, that'll work. And then I'm going to cut that one off. No, the other side, Fiona. <laughs> Should I go the wrong way? Oh no, that'll work. I don't know. That looked that was funny. It looked wider when I did that. This side. This side. Okay, so I'm going to cut it there. And we'll try that. You crafting tonight? Gotta to find my magical plates. So they put a die down and to cut it and you cut it out pop it out and then before you take it off the paper little silicon sheet like this and then you want to take your pick tool <laughs> this one you can use it like this or you can put it in your tape so this actually fits in the take your pick tool this end that one over there you can put it in there and then hold it very carefully and gently rub it you don't want to push too hard, but you want to push hard enough to dent it and stay close to the edge. So you're going along that edge of the die. I've never done this before. Has anyone else? I just saw it quickly on Instagram. I was sitting there looking on Instagram after my dinner and went, oh, look at the time. <laughs> It's like, oh, oh, I've got my life, better go. But I saw this. So I thought, I'll go and do that. And over there. Try really hard to keep it straight and lined up with that edge. You can feel it through the thing. Hope you can see what I'm doing, can you? So just run it in. Little what do you call that? An embossing tool? Can't think of the name of things tonight. Do it one more time. You can do it on paper as well. And then, you can magic. Magic it. Look at that. It's got a little beveled edge on it. See? It gives it a bit of extra extra 3D. It's always fun learning new techniques. That's the little stamp and silicon mat. Let me see what that's called. <laughs> silicon. I've got my website open. Silicon craft sheet it's called. $11.50. So they are so handy for things because it's a bit rubbery, silicony, soft. It's, you can do these sort of things on it. You can put glue on it and it will dry. You can do so much with them. Use it underneath your taping. Right, let's have a look at this. Oh, I was thinking of using that birthday stamp. This one. We could still use that, couldn't we? That way, Fiona, that way. 
So if you have it upside down, well, you know what, you could even turn it over. You could probably turn that over and, and do it on the other way and push it in, like from the correct, from the right side though. So it's down like that one. But I've done it so it's up. Okay, we're going to do that. Where's my little block? Just cleaned everything. I just cleaned my blocks and cleaned my table. Let's put this back in. I like to keep that one in there. Now, I haven't even decided any colours whatsoever. <laughs> what colour will we stamp? Pick a colour. And then we'll work from there. Mm. Any ideas? I'll just have a little sip of my cuppa. Oh, it was a bit slopey, wasn't it? Right. Did you think of a colour? She goes something blue, something blue. So I'm going to do some mountains and some trees. Blue. Okay. Do you want lighter blue or darker blue? So we've got night of navy, misty moonlight. Let me get my out. Blueberry bushel. Oh, we've got lots of blues here. Look at all these blues. Here we go. Bright blue, like the sky, like azure afternoon. How about that? Oh dear, you know what I forgot to do, don't you? <laughs> I just better check my chamois. Oh, that one's still wet. Good. I forgot to wet them. Okay, where's my little bit of paper I had before? use last week's. We've got a new host code this week, so I'll just use last week's. A bit of ink on there. Give it a little test run. As you are. Alrighty, I'm going to put that on my line down there so it's in the center actually you know what I might <laughs> I might put it there so I can see that that's straight and quite centered just to help me hope that's right I oh, can't see properly okay fingers crossed <laughs> I think it's down a little bit but It'll do. Clean the stamp off. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, right. So, wonder what we should do next. Let's get a stamp out. Because I haven't put any labels on these ones. I didn't even know what I was using until five minutes ago. <laughs> I went, oh, what will I grab off the table? <laughs> Just give them a wipe because we haven't used them before. Now I'm doing a card class in person on the 20th of October. So it's maybe in Piemont. So let me know if you're interested. I've got a couple of spots left. Let's just pull all the stamps out. But it's about trees. I'm going to be using trees for that one I'll design a couple of cars a few cars and um, yeah so you can make them birthday cards you can make them Christmas cards I'm probably going to be making Christmas cards because <laughs> I'm making cards to sell and to send it's always nice to send our cards all right get all these off do this as quick as I can now I like to use my blocks to do this. I'll use this big one because I just cleaned that. 
and I take off the whole sticker and I use a bit of fluff off my clothes on one end of it. So I do it on the end that I'm likely to pull the stamp off the block. So if you're going to pull it off that way, put it on that end. But I do at this end. Is that going to fit on there? I think so. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I have to get another block out. Right. Oh, did you say you're crafting tonight, Dad? Let me have a look. I didn't see any answers. I'll just pull off the little bit. It's a little bit on the end over, but it should be okay. And then just turn your stamp around. And put it over the top now. Be careful with this one because I've gone right near the end. So I'm really trying to watch the little curly wavy bits there. Line it all up. I hope I've got that right. <laughs> there we go. And then it should just come off. Okay. What else have we got? What's this one? It's like a little... Oh, don't take that bit off. <laughs> Let me get that bit off. Is that like water or not? Or land? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's water there. I guess it could be whatever we want it to be. It's one of those stamps. Oh, yes. Wow. I'll be making cards like me. Right, I'm going to make sure I've got this the right way up. So that way goes that way. There's a little nod, nodule bit there. This piece, knobby bit. So I'm looking for that and the other end. Push it down. Oh, did I put enough fluff on that? I don't think I did. I'm getting my apron And we got trees. I love the trees. I'll just use my pants. I've got a bit more fluff on my pants. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> The round card, oh, Jill made a few days ago. Days, you mean? <laughs> yes, she means days. Jill's one of our crafty demo friends. She makes beautiful cards. Okay, there we go. Now, what's this one? What is that? Is it like little leaves? I think it's little leaves on the ground. Huh. I wonder if it's leaves or paw prints. What do you reckon? Hang on. They look like leaves, don't they? be interesting that round card I haven't watched that one yet oh sorry where are we <laughs> Ooh, there we go that's what it is What do you reckon? I think it's 
little looks like leaves to me. And this one's a little box, isn't it? I think it's a little box. stuff here oh is it a fox or a wolf that's a very good question mm. <laughs> here it is I'm not sure maybe it is a wolf What's it called? In the Grove. Let's see what it says. If it says anything. Grove. Now this In the Grove. Where are the dies? Hang on a second. So I can find my dies. This has dies to go with it. Like this. So we've got all these little pieces here. Lots of bits and pieces, and you can use it with the grassy grove. So I've seen them make cards with both on them. With this one, this one's got the deer. Okay, let's go in the grove. Nope. Cling stamp set. See what it says. It says. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just reading grass image floral stamp in a darker color to create the look of a grove in bloom to capture the finer details of the stamp set use less ink saturation so that you have a clearer cleaner stamped image pair this stamp set with a heartfelt sentiment for a handmade card from the heart uh, I can't see it doesn't say what animal it is no so you can do lots of things with these you've got all of that in this one grassy grove I don't think I'll be using that tonight I'm not sure yet and I'm not even sure about these guys yet <laughs> it's some sort of a dog get that off okay so you can do things like that got your mountains in the background I quite like the mountains on their own the trees look it's even got these little let's have a look at this one oh. Oh, took off the tape This one's got the little, they look like little trees. You could do a cutout of trees along there. Hmm. That goes along the edge of something to layer it. That's what they were talking about, the layering. So you could put it along the edge of the card. Hang on. Let's try this one. So they go along there like that. See? And if you cut a piece off, oh, I haven't played with them yet. <laughs> oh, look, there's a squirrel. <laughs> I do videos of squirrels while I was away. Look at the little squirrel. And there's a little rabbit. Oh, I took photos of rabbits as well. I know. I got a bit carried away. But the squirrels are so cute. Sitting there. Going away, not to find it and share it. <laughs> My little squirrel. Okay, so the mountains even have die cut. Look at that. So you could die cut. I don't think it's another one and put it behind it. Ah, then do that and layer things. 
back of that. This one's got a mountain die for that one. So then you could put another one behind. Oh, wow, you can do lots of things. That sounds like fun. It's going mad, isn't it? Right, we better find a base card. Colour base card. Maybe we'll stick with the blue for the base. Thoughts? Anybody? Can we find some cards? Or... Put some bases around here somewhere. Hang on. We do a base card and then we can work on the white panel. We just cut a white panel. Piece here, but we'll do some colouring in and stuff. A bit of stamping. Although, now that I'm thinking, we could even cut them, couldn't we? What do you think, Di? Should we do layers and layers? Let's stamp that on some cardstock and then layer it. I love that. I love this stamp. <laughs> I've had my eye on this. We just better stamp this to see what it looks like, I think. I'm not sure about the layer upon layer yet. Let's just stamp that. All right, let me find a big block. Because we're going to need the big one. We'll do a test run first. And a bit of paper. Because now what colour will we do that? Ooh. Um, let's think. Just wondering whether to go with the misty moon or that way it'll be in the background more. Let's see what it looks like. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> it just got in close. Uh-oh. Stuck my thumb in it. It got stuck. Right. I was trying to do that. <laughs> but it, it's a bit stuck. I might ink this one this way because sometimes I ink my stamps this way so that I can see how much ink I'm putting on. Now they said in that message on the website in their product detail to use less ink saturation. So one of the ways to do that is to use a dauber. I might have put too much on there, I think. So you could stamp it off first and then stamp it. That's another way to do it. Get my daubers out. Or you could just use a dauber. What colour is that one? Blue. I'm going to rub a bit of that off because I've got too much on there. I'm going to wipe that off a bit. Like that. Right, then I'm going to come back at it like this. I don't want so much on there. Let's just try that. Oh! I'll just stamp that up here. Ah, 
Look at that. That turned out nice. So I think I'll stamp it straight onto here. I think, I'm still thinking. <laughs> Can you tell I'm thinking? <laughs> I'm thinking music. Just wondering whether to do it on a separate piece and, and layer things. And do a sky and all that. Like. Can always get another bit of card out, can't we? Okay, I'm just going to ink this one up a little, like this. Just spread it out a bit. Just remember, when you're test testing on paper, it's different to card. So we, we may get a different look now. But we'll try. Okay, I'm going to do it in the middle, just in case I decide to stick with that idea. Just give it a good push down. Hold it there. See how it's a little bit darker than that one. But it's still up. It's okay. Woo! That was fun. Okay, let's wrap it off. Make sure you give your stamp a good wash. Have to give my chamois a good wash tonight. I washed them last week. But when I use darker inks, I like to wash them out straight away. Okay. <laughs> Next. Let's try. Oh, well, we keep that there because we might use that in a second. Let's try this little baby. What will we do with that one? We'll take that off. Where did I put the words? There they are. Put that away. Uh, I think I might go. How wide is that? It's got hair on me. <laughs> Get my hair off it fluff on there. I think that's wide enough. Just wide enough. I think. Yeah. So as long as the stamp is on the block, we might go down a little tiny bit actually. Make sure that end is on. Let's just stamp this one and see what it looks like. In Where's the Lost Lagoon? I'm just going to ink that one up and try it out on the paper first. If we go, what have they got next to that? If we go there, that's not bad, is it? I think I like that. I think I'll just do that with this one, like this. It doesn't seem to grab too much ink. I think it depends on your ink pad a bit as well. So see how I got a little line there? You've got to watch that with your stamp. So that was because I got a bit of ink onto the bottom of the stamp. And it doesn't quite cover it up, but it should be all right. I'm going to go... Where did I go? Go there. Just look 
supposed to be the washing day, but that's all right. Cool. One over there. And I want some trees. You know what I did now, don't you? <laughs> I went too low. <laughs> what did you say? Four ground trees first. I was going to put my birthday here. <laughs> I'm going to cover all that up. Uh, I had planned to put that at the bottom. Maybe it's too big. Although, I don't, I don't want to cover it all up. We might have to make a smaller one. I might have to use that on something else. Oh dear. Right, now what are you talking about? Foreground trees first. These ones. I was going to do them here. Smaller sentiment, yes. I like the happiest birthdays. Maybe we could stamp that straight onto the card after all that and I'll use that on something else. Foreground trees? Shall we put some over that side too? We don't have any other little trees, do we? Unless I use these little die cuts. I think they'd go in there though, wouldn't they? I don't know. I think they can just go wherever you want them. So they go over the water. I don't know, do I? I think they're just going to go wherever we put them. I'm going to put them there. And I'm going to use some... I don't know what colour will I use? Let's see what shaded spruce looks like. Sure you've got enough ink on your on your trees. Maybe that's all right. Very dark colour over the watercolour. Do you like that? And the question is, do we need more trees over there? Although it's going to look funny, I think, if I do more over there. Okay. Put that there. And we might use our little use a little animal. Oh, we might have to die cut a squirrel. <laughs> They're so tiny there. I'm gonna lose my squirrel. some trees on the front. I really like it like that. Though. Right, here's the little die cut. Let's not lose our squirrel now. I'm not sure whether to put this little fella on or not. I don't know where I put him. It'd have to be right at the front. Nah, I think I'll leave him off. I'm just wondering whether to use a bit of this. And then put the squirrel here. <laughs> Where's my other block? I think we might do a little bit of that. What colour will we use there? Let's see. We should 
should do another happy birthday. And we need to decide. I think maybe I should just put it on the sky. It's looking like this at the moment. I think I might just do it on there. We'll just have to make another card with that one. And if I do a bit of this along here, and then put the little squirrel in at the front. <laughs> That's cute. I just tell what colour. I <laughs> know the squirrel is. No, this is so cute. The little rabbit too. Maybe it's a bit both. Alright, I'm just trying to work out what colour to do at the front there. Um, I'll either go with a brownie colour or a... Let me have a look. little squirrel there. Now if that's too dark. If I stamp it off. Maybe I should go darker. Darker to then lighter. So it's dark around the trees. dark around there and then lighter and then we've got to work out what to cut the squirrel out with so I want to take the tree off there and do the happy birthday again Lose that squirrel. <laughs> Oops, I got a lot of ink around that. I better, better not do that. <laughs> it probably won't come onto the thing, but knowing me, I did it a minute ago, didn't I? Let me get that off there. I pushed too hard on the ink pad. You don't need to push hard on the ink pad. Okay, let me try that again. Tap it lightly. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> okay. There. Ta da! Where we cut our squirrel out. So we cut a rabbit as well while we're at it. Oh, can't get the rabbit off. And they can be talking to each other. <laughs> How cute are they? Alrighty. Let me look in my little box. Hang on a minute. I keep a box of odd bits like this and we could do we could cut one out of this gold couldn't we because then that'll sort of go with the brown uh, let's see what else we've got in here 
I've got a little bit of brushed that might go it's good to keep your odd bits little bits like this for such an occasion need very much see it's worth keeping these little tiny pieces and I'll do the rabbit out of this one Silk up. I feel better doing that way. After this, I'll find my video of my squirrel. Oh, sorry, Diana, you asked me a question. Is there a die cut for the wolf or fox? Yes. Yes, there is. Do you think I should die cut one? Do you separate? He's a bit big, though. Not sure where he's going to go. There it is, there. Cuts him out. I could put it there, but it looks really big. Let's see what these little guys look like best. I can't even pick them up. <laughs> right, let's stick them onto the sticky so we don't lose them. Those are these bits. There's the tweezers. The tweezers out. Oops, another bit on there. He's tiny. He's so cute. There's a rabbit. What do you reckon? Put them together or talk them to each other? Yeah, I better put them in the better put them in view of the camera. Hey, that might help. <laughs> Let's stick it all together. Oh, hey, little chap, look. I wonder if I need a bit more brown around there. I need a little bit more of that stamp, I think, around this side. basic beige the other day. I haven't even tried it yet. Let's try that on a bit of paper. See what that looks like. Oh, it's got funny dots on it. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, it looks quite green. Now that's interesting. Oh, maybe I could do a stamp off. Okay, let's do that. Okay, we'll rub it off for a minute. Do a stamp off of that one. Yeah, just give me a little bit more on the side there.
Right. What do you think? Do we need to do something with that border? I think it's all right like that. We'll just get a bit of other bling to put on it. Here, I'll just put them there for a minute. Tossing up whether to do a, a more rugged edge on it or a straight edge. Any suggestions? Do you like the straight edge? Or should I make it a bit more rugged to go with the ruggedness of the land? Have a think for a minute. I'll wait for a second. <laughs> Look at it on the screen. Oh, the other idea I had was doing sort of like something around the edge of it. You know, with um, with a bit of blue, well, not probably not that dark, but <laughs> sort of brushing the edge of the card like that around the edges of the white. You like the clean edge? Okay, okay, let's stay clean then. Some glue happening. Sure you've got it straight. I like to turn it a few times to look at each edge. Just to make sure I think I've got it straight. <laughs> it's actually quite easy card to make, isn't it? Because it's not once you know what you're doing, <laughs> it's quite quick. Just stamp, 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 stamp. And then we've just got a couple little things to stick on there. Right, where will I put that? There and there? Like they're having a conversation. I wonder if squirrels and rabbits do get along. I saw them both in the wild, but not together. <laughs> Very cute. Give it a cute little note. Alright, now we want some bling, I think. A bit of bling at. Oh, a bling. And there's some new bling out, but let's save on the other table. Away. Let me see if I've got any other bling over here. Hang on. Lots of bling. Some new bling. I don't think any of them will suit though. <laughs> We've got these ones and these ones and these ones. I could use some more of those. They're earth tone shimmer gems. They're nice. Those little earthy tones are nice. Not sure about that. I'm thinking maybe more of a blue. That's probably a bit much. We've got the green and the blue in that one. They're rainbow adhesive back dots. Although we've got a couple of these here. What's this? Adhesive back sparkle gems. Just let me make sure they still have those. I think they do because these are my current ones. 
Double yep, they're still there. Look, these little ones here. I think they might not because they'll go in well with that. But let's do that. Where did I put my take your pick tool? Ah, I can't see it. <laughs> I pinned it there. There it is. There it is. I think I've got, oh, yeah, I've got some big ones. big ones yeah. yeah I should put one up in the sky mm. I don't know if I like that one there just lay them on there gently before I push them down about that one. Did I push that on already? No. <laughs> Can't use them. <laughs> ah. No, maybe I need it around the other way. that look like let's have a look oh I'm not sure about that one out there maybe not get up with those I can't pick it up frustrating isn't it Where to stick them? Uh, I want one over there. Oh, maybe the moon. Could be like the sun, couldn't it? Or the moon or something. Feel bling challenge tonight. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, I feel like it's not quite right. That one doesn't feel right. down there. <laughs> Spend all night to put my bling on. No, I don't like that one there. I'll put it down a bit. If you do it that way you've got a triangle. That feels a bit better. That feels more balanced. Okay, I'll leave it there. Right. Oh. And that way we've got a little bit of bling. A little rabbit. A little squirrel. So cute. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you. How did your crafting go? with that during the week and do another one with all the bits and pieces and I should find my squirrel while we're thinking about it shall I let me just have a quick look
Oh, hang on, before we change the photo. That was the photo I started with. With my trees and my mountains. At Lake Tahu. And I'll just see if I can find the squirrel. Hang on. I did. I've got to remember where the squirrel was. Oh, it was right there. Look, it was right there. Let me just go find the squirrel. Look, here's the squirrel. <laughs> Isn't he gorgeous? He's so cute. There's my little squirrel. <laughs> oh, I love it. I've got a photo of him. And there was another one somewhere else rubbing his back on the wall. It's so cute. I, just can't, I don't know where that one is at the moment. So there you go. That is my squirrel. They are adorable. They're so cute to watch. I could stare at them all day. Okay, I'm going to go. So let me know if you need anything. And I'll see you sometime around. Uh, let me know if you're doing the World Card Making Day. Because that's on Saturday, the 5th of October. And if you want to join my team, if you want to buy anything, there's all my details. Oh, thanks, Di. Did you finish your card? I just love those mountains. They're gorgeous. I have to try them in black one day too, because they do look nice in the black too. You can still register for card making day. Yes, at the beginning of my video, I'll just do it again, just for anyone that's missed that. If you go to the website and click on Stampin' Up at the top, well, if you go into it, it'll come up with this page here, and then it scrolls through things like that, and you can scroll through them yourself and go like that and then touch world card making day and then go down click the word register and it'll just well, I'll click on it but I've already registered although I'm not logged in here so it won't know so it comes up with that first name email address where you're located how'd you first hear about the event Fiona told me <laughs> um, have you purchased the products marketing permissions da, da, da. submit and then it sends you an email. So I got my email today, I think, for that. Let me just have a quick look. World Card Making Day. Yeah, I got that today. So you'll get an email fairly quickly, probably. But you've got till the, what does it say? Let's go back one page. It says you've got till the 4th of October to register at 2 p.m. I'll just have a read through all that but you don't have to buy the products they're using that you can use whatever you like they do suggest what they're using if you have those things and you can watch the recording later so you do need to register you can't just hop on the website and watch it you need to register to do that but you get access to the recording as well which is great oh you've almost finished the card that's wonderful yeah so I'm around um, so that starts at two o'clock on Saturday so I hope I'll be able to do it maybe we'll see what happens if I can't I'll watch the replay later so happy crafting everybody I'll leave that there so people can see that if they're interested and there's all my details I'll cover my details up and happy birthday to whoever's birthday it is this week. <laughs> Have a good night. Ciao.